Soldering in tight places in vehicles when doing all sorts of retrofits can be a messy thing when you're using lots of cables when you need to actually bring power to the vehicle. And recently I've seen an interesting product, a product that makes me able or allows me to say goodbye to things like this or to that long cable with the adapter for the 12 volt socket and instead use Dewalt batteries, Makita or even Milwaukee and have a mobile soldering station. So wires like these bigger gauges in theory should be able to be soldered without too much fuss, without too much cables. I went on AliExpress. I think that products like these are available also on eBay and Amazon. AliExpress had a very good price for them. So I got one of these little toys. I did not have the chance to actually test them. Now we are going to unbox it, see how this tool is able to work. We have the unit itself, the soldering handle and the tip. What else? We have a user manual in the box. Good morning, sunshine. Very well machined, very well presented. Spot on. Doesn't play around. Starts heating up quite quite fast. What I can tell you, the rubber feel or the overall feel of the tool, the handle is quite nice. It has a rubberized grip to it, and all of the components seem seem very well designed, very well machined. We don't have excessive gaps. I don't have anything that I need to force or adapt to to make it work so first impressions are quite good i find this type of tool very useful for soldering something on the tailgates of the vehicles whenever we are doing the retrofits for the rear view cameras we need to solder some wires in the tailgate and having to bring the cable to the vehicle all of that hassle really really annoyed me so this will be one of those applications another place where i'm expecting to use a device like this is if we need to make a bit more room for the BMWs in the MBT area. In the past I was using a soldering iron to remove part of the plastic in the background, the holder of the MBT. So another example of where you can use such a thing. No more wires, no more hassle. You just take it with you providing that you have good batteries. You're set to go. To actually make your life easier when soldering, I would recommend having some of these tools. You buy them once, you keep them for a lifetime. This is a must have, will save you a lot of hassle when you need to strip the wires. Recently, I've got one of these from the same place, AliExpress, links will be available. This one allows you to hold or to fix the wires in place and not have to fiddle around when you need to align them. Let's see. Oh, it even has a sleep mode. We are going to test the soldering capabilities. I have with me two different gauges of wire. Let's try 1.3. The sleep function might be quite useful because if you're using a small battery, you do not want to drain the power from the battery. So it might work quite well. Let's prepare our cables. Yeah, it does it. Doesn't play around with it. The only thing that I'm considering to change on this one is the type of soldering head. Try to get something that is smaller or if not, just um, file down this one. Place this one over there. My imaginary second wire. We bring them a little bit closer together. Yep, done it without an issue. Let's mess about with this bigger one. Do, 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 do. Power 100%. Ah, so it is showing me how much power it is using to reach that temperature. But does it tell me anything about the remi remaining power in the battery? No. So if we're just looking at the menu, we have the set temperature 
and we have the level of power that the unit is using to keep this temperature because if I look on the back at my battery my battery is fully charged and it's a small dewalt battery the maximum value is 500 and by the looks of it if you press the main button it gives a boost it increases the temperature with 50 degrees let's see on 500 yep boost is 550 oh secret menu hmm. so overall it's starting to look like there is hope for humanity and things that in the past would have taken quite a lot of time to prepare now can be done quite easily with a dual battery or with a 20 volt battery and this type of tool thank you for watching links are available in the description you might also want to watch other videos on our channel see you in the next one